Okay, so he's lost the full pawn there with a position with no compensation. Nice, uh, nice little pleb move. Oh, and then the queen as well. That's a hanging rook, and you're hanging your bishop. What the fuck am I looking at? What are you doing? What? Ah! Oh! oh I got what? it! Point two seconds! Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, that was an insane game. We got subs against plebs here. It's just going to be uh, three minutes, uh, three minute chess. And uh, we're going to see once and for all whether it's worth it to sub to the chess bra channel. There we go. It worked. All right, Sir Maestro 3. The game started. He's online. Nice. And he got his move in. And he got his move in. 2700 on Chesscom is some serious business, yes. But guys, this is this is a social experiment. I'm putting our subs to the test, you know? We got some howitzers in here. We got guys like Nicola, guys like Salty, Amadon, Anthony. These guys I think are ready to to face off against 2700. Well, Joe, Joe, let's let's save that. That's the big reveal for later. That's the big reveal for later. Even when the plebs win, they don't actually win. We need worship. I don't think worship is here. But believe me, when, when he shows up, he will make his presence felt. Meanwhile, C4 is really making his presence felt here. That's definitely the case. Hey, Halvar, doing pretty well, man. Yeah, Nikola, I mean, I got faith. I got faith. We also got Lolly in there. That's the thing. I mean, Lolly is like one of those, um, one of those guys who, who's battle hardened, you know, over the years. He's definitely battle hardened. Okay, B4. And what's going to happen here? Minute 49. Chess Noob is a little bit higher rated by uh, over 100 points. Are we going to get some of these moves? I think these 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 can do pretty well, I'm, I think. Okay, Bishop F4 I can accept. That's a uh, that's an attack. He's attacking a piece. I always say when when you're under 1,000 rated, just, just attack things and your position is going to be good. You're always going to make a good move by attacking. C4, sure. That can be taken. Rook B1 is also good. Even taking the time to play H3 so you don't get mated later would be very a very decent uh, move here. He's got to make a move though. He's, he's, he's getting too low on time. Both players are playing well here, but I, I'm not a fan of the time situation. This is an okay move. He attacked something at least. Try to get that knight in there. Put that knight on c3. Oh, h3. Okay, f3 is a pretty good move too. Again, he's just attacking. I love to see it. Oh, he attacked as well. Well, I think this would be a good move, but instead he he took. So that, that worked out for black. Is bishop takes g4 going to be played? Wow, that was fast as well. Damn, that's some quick math there, Nicola. Okay, so he attacked something, but he didn't defend anything. And as you can see, it worked out. More proof that all you need to do is attack pieces, and it is going to work. Yeah, that's fine. Take that. We got some uh, big-time threats here. Big-time threats. Again, I feel like this HD move would be useful. He's catching up on time, and he found it. 97, that's a good move. 
That's a very good move. Uh huh. This is a competitive match, actually. Material is well, pretty oh, much the level. Good. Pretty much the level. Okay, but that's that's free. Guys, Sir Maestro is playing like really well right now. A four. Is he gonna see that that's attacked? Actually, maybe he could bait him into taking it and playing bishop d3 and trapping the knight. A deep plan by Sir Maestro. This is a really good game. Holy smokes. Knight d2? Okay, but we can just attack that. Or play knight f1. Yeah, both moves look good. The guy's got to go back. We can keep chasing him, maybe. We can we can push it, baby. That's also possible. But I like his move. I, I, you know, I think he's doing the right thing. He's getting the knight into the game. Guys, yeah, Sir Maestro is playing a masterpiece here. He's playing a masterpiece. Push him, baby. That's right, Alessia. Easy. Get the knight involved. 20 seconds ticking down. Is he going to push him, baby? Is he going to push him, baby? Not quite. Okay. The, the time is getting even. Oh, it's pushed now. Ooh, we'd like to see that move. Yeah, we're going all the way, baby. All the way home. Look at that. We scored a touchdown. I don't know how the hell that happened. He snuck it by the entire defense. He just walked up. Now, can he finish it off? Oh. Whoa, what a move there. Bishop a3. What's going to happen here? Oh, g4. Some pre-moves by black. Oh, I have a feeling I could see white doing that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There we go. He handled his business, Sir Maestro. Boom. GG. He's on mobile. He's out here knocking down plebs. That was the, the, the those were both uh, people who were playing pretty well, in my opinion. Sir Maestro farming points from these plebs, yeah? I think so. I think so. He's out here farming. E6, confident lad. In before Sir Master taking that. Well, the thing is, he could just run through the entire pleb team, I think. I think he could run through the whole pleb team. Okay, F6. Not the best move, but I'm not sure if it can be punished. Is he going to bring the rook back and allow this? Nicola, thanks for the gifted sub. To Alessia. Welcome, welcome. Oh, that, that is not the move, Chief. Ooh. Got some options here, but that is hanging. Oh, not taken. Long castle instead. And maybe Sir Maestro is still in the game. Just attack things. That's what I'm saying. White just attacked it, and boom. It's winning on the spot. 97. Now if pawn takes, the knight takes. That's going to be attacking the queen. Somehow it's working out. Take it, maybe? Yeah, we could take that. Bishop g7, queen to one of these squares to help long castle. Okay. And in the end, it's actually not that bad for Sir Maestro here. You know, if he gets castled, it's like, it's a decent position. A decent position. Queen H7. Do you want a drink there, bud? Maybe I'd do a coffee. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Takes. Okay, he's attacking the knight. He's attacking the knight. So takes, takes, takes. Maybe queen G6. That's a big time tactic from uh, Profect. I think this knight's maybe... Ah, queen F2. Yep, I forgot about that move. That is definitely strong. Queen takes F2. 
Why is there 2800 pleb? Asian JL, what can I say, man? We uh, we were in the struggle. There was some point where there was like a 2400, 2300, 2200 for team pleb, and there was only 1700s on the subs. Okay, he's attacking the queen. Now he's losing his bishop, but let's say his heart was in the right place. His heart was in the right place. By the way, doesn't don't you have a match today, Agent Jail? When does that start? He's pushing him for the win. You got to respect what uh, Sir Maestro is doing here. He's going all the way. Maybe d4. Still think we should see d4 here. Okay. He's done d4. You know, I actually wanted to see d4 here. And hope for something like rook takes, takes, and, you know, if the guy's too hasty and takes the queen, that's how you win. That's what I was hoping for. Where are the plebs coming from? I don't know. I really don't. Oh, and he lost this rook. Damn it. Unless he gets this rook here, it's it's not going to work out. Sir Maestro might be going down here, guys. Rook there. I mean, no matter which pawn you move, you're, you're losing one of them. Go for stalemate. I hope he does. So what should he do, guys? He should bring his king up here. That's that's probably the best try for stalemate. Ooh, he's just shuffling. I think he's going to get mated as a result. Here, that is such the checkmate. Yeah, that's going to be checkmate. Profect. Got one for Team Pleb. He got one for Team Pleb. Uh-oh. You're hoping the Plebs win? They deserve it? Oh my goodness. That, that hurts to even read out loud. All right, here we go. Profec got the first point. Got the first point there for the Plebs. Hello, Temperature. Oh, there's Warshep, guys. Our fearless leader, Warshep, is in the chat. Just his presence is going to inspire Money Bert here to take the W, I think. GG's, uh, Sir Maestro. Queen A4. So, a big time threat there. Is Profit going to take that back? Money Bert is looking confident here. The German precision, exactly. Guys, this is a time when EU and NA and really everyone around the world can come together to unite against the common enemy. Plebs. And I think that's a, a bold message in these, these tumultuous times worldwide when you know we, we're calling our loved ones and making sure everyone's safe. That we, we, we stop to remember how much we all don't like plebs. And I think it's important that we can come together during these times and, and still unite over a common cause. Queen b3 hitting the pawn, but queen b6 is actually a decently resourceful move there. After takes, you got to take here though, and then, and then things will be defended. Very inspiring. Hello, Mole. We got a lot of people here. They're they're all gonna be getting. We got a, a 2700 on the on team pleb. That knight can go to a couple different squares here. Exactly. Yeah, Twitch Robert. Yeah, legend has it the uh, the plebs sent a a scout out and have since contacted uh, Dark Vortex and Shensai. Just a lot of the a lot of the talents. 
CRC, thanks for the 100 bits. Okay, F3 played. Look at these uh, pawns. A lot of space for Profec. A lot of space. And maybe that knight's going to come into B4 as well. Feels like that's the next move. No, knight there. Well, that's a huge problem, guys. Oh, C5 was winning the entire queen. Ooh, C5 would have won the queen. It was trapped. That's uh, whenever the knight cuts the, the retreat from the queen back, then, then suddenly that becomes an idea. But I'm telling you, this queen, if you're not careful, guys, is going to go all the way around here and give checkmate or something. Thanks, Nicola, for gifting sub to Manu David. And uh, Chess Bay for the 33 month reset. Glad you enjoyed the stream the other day, uh, Temperature. I think it was a lot of fun. I think it was a lot of fun. It did put me out for yesterday, though. It's uh, recovering, recovering from that one. Welcome there, Mr. Manu David. Uh, takes, I guess. Takes. I mean, you can take any way you want. I would have said this way, just to make that A pawn a weakness. Too much Irish dating? Well, I don't know if there's too much, but definitely had our fair share. Definitely had our fair share. So maybe bishop d2. This knight needs to reroute. Let's see. Because it's getting to be a pretty close position that time is very valuable here. Maybe bishop there and there. Time is very, very valuable. Bishop takes b5. Let me tell you guys, that was not the move that we wanted there, chief. That was not the move we wanted. Oh, man. And if this rook gets there... It's painful for Money Burt here, guys. The position has fallen apart. What happened to Money Burt? We got a pleb over here pushing him around like it's nobody's business. Oh, man. Are we going to get this? No. Nope. A threat? That's good. That's good. Threats are good. Is he going to bring that queen out? Oh, he's opening lines. He's opening lines. Knight b2 as well. He might slide the queen over. 12 seconds. He's finally starting to play decent moves here. Holy smokes. Look at him go. Check. Oh, no. He hung his queen. No, he blocked it. What the hell was that move? Queen F6. Finally, White's starting to play decent moves, but he's got four seconds. He's got four seconds. Just not good enough. It's not good enough. No, he's going to be too slow. Oh my goodness. Takes, there's A2. A nasty pleb combination there by Profic 10. Nasty, nasty pleb combination there. Wow. That's a crusher. That's a crusher. Rook A3 would have had, but I don't trust our... I really don't, don't trust Money Bert. Money Bert, he wasn't up to task. But GG's anyway, sir. You tried, but let me tell you that Profic 10 is a, he's an elite pleb. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's take a look from the pleb's perspective. So it's kind of like when you, when you, uh, you go into like a virtual reality or something, you know, later on, you know, when the, the world is very developed, that there's going to be, there's going to be like a higher class of people that live in a, a you, you know, sort of a dystopian society. And there's probably going to be video games where, you know, you get to, to look through the eyes of the villagers down below. And that's sort of what we're doing here is that we're, we're observing what it feels like to be a pleb. You know what I mean? A pleb would make that, this move C3. You know, the rest of us, we'd be like, hey, why don't we castle? But it's nice to see what it, what it looks like to be a pleb. Moves like C3, Queen F3. I mean, just stuff we would never think of normally. And... And I think there's no way to properly simulate that. You just have to experience it for yourself. You have to experience it for yourself. So I think it's great that, that we're able to, uh, to finally, the technology is there. We finally get to experience that for ourselves. It's important. Prepping D4, exactly. 
And now he's played d3. So a bunch of moves prepping for d4, which is a move that loses a pawn. So are we going to see more knight d2? No. Straight for d4. Very, very pleb move, if I can say that. Very plebeian of him. Okay, so he's lost the full pawn there with a position with no compensation. Nice, uh, nice little pleb move. It's only the, I don't know, the most important center pawn. Oh, and then the queen as well. Okay, so it's a nice little sort of uh, change, a reality shift here. Is we, we do get to experience things from, from a pleb POV. Um, it's definitely been a, a wild ride so far. Losing your center pawn, giving up your queen. So this is what it feels like, guys. This is what it feels like. So just think, you could play chess like this, or you could be a chess bra sub. I mean, there's two very clear choices in life, and I just hope everyone here makes the correct one. Here we go. Just classic, classic stuff. He's looking to make trades. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Why not do both? Listen, you, you might think you're you're planning on doing both, but what happens is you join the uh, you join the Chespra list of subscribers, and immediately your skills become far too dangerous. You you become so strong that you cannot make blunders like that anymore. You can try, but it just you lose your powers. Apostolus, no, I don't think we're doing another sub battle after this because uh, ooh, he's setting up something uh, big there, but rook f2 is a dangerous move. Okay, bishop f2 played. I would love to see h6 or something, so there's no mate. Um, after after this, uh, Alexandra is playing Jennifer Yu in a, I think it's a bullet match. Um, I have to uh, I have to head over there and, and give some expert commentary. So... So yeah, oh, this might be bait. Bishop e3, queen f1. I think he wants it. He wants it. So after this, I'll be uh, over on the Botez live channel doing some commentary in a match over there. So we're just uh, we're just doing the one the one battle royale today. That's correct, Mandard Monkey. I do support the Wowman. When does the match start? After this. After this. Queen c7. So some some strange moves, I would say, from the lad here. He really wants this checkmate. It's all he wants in life. I can just, I can tell. Oh, he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. h6. There we go. That's a great move. That's, that's a great move. Now, are we going to see? Oh, no. No, dude. What the hell is that? Oh my goodness! Oh, Queen E8. Right. What the hell's going on? Oh my goodness! And Bishop E5. Oh no! Oh 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 oh! This still hurts. Is he capable of such a move? He is. He is capable. The technology is there. The technology is there. What's he doing? He's frozen. He's glitching or something. Tashinka. Oh, this is a dangerous move. He's trying to push his pawns, but there's always moves like this to give check. Oh, okay. King there, and is he going to go for a draw? No, I mean, he's better. Oh, he's going for a draw. He went for a draw, guys. <laughs> Profac against Tashunka. Rematch. You guys got a rematch. Hopefully you guys can do that. If you want to send a rematch. He goes for it. The technology is there. He goes for the draw. He was up 20 seconds. There it is. The rematch is on. Now we get to watch from the winning perspective here. Profect 10, he's no regular pleb. Exactly. He is no regular pleb. Pleb's gone wild in the hood. No, you gotta look at the time, though, Silent Killer. 
you got to look at the time. In that game, I mean, the time was... Uh, he was running out for black, so I, th I think white was definitely better there. What happens if there's another draw? Well, if there's another draw, then I think Tashinka has earned his promotion. We promote him from uh, sub to pleb. So we, we actually uh, revoke some of his employee discounts um, in the chess bra merch store. And yeah, we, we take him we take him down a notch. Anyone who draws two games against the pleb definitely gets outed. And and oh, is that a rook for us for the boys? Tashunka, is he trying to earn his keep here? Well, this is not the first game he's had like a plus ten position. So let's see if he can keep it up. How's a 19 playing at 2200? Guys, this is a winner stay on. This is a winner stay on tournament. So there's no matchups. I don't know what you guys are talking about. There's no matchups. All right, bishop b5 coming. Bishop b5. Yes or no? Yes. Queen c7, okay. I'd like to point out that queen c7 from Profect is an incredible move, a truly incredible move. Queen c7 was met with the move, knight takes d7. And after queen d7, what, what the hell was played after queen d7? Queen takes d7. Not like queen a6 or, you know, just about any... As long as you move the queen, literally, like, anywhere on the board, even queen c7, even queen c7 wins the queen. I mean, queen c8 does, like, 10 moves. And it just put the queen somewhere. But he took. And now we're in a competitive match. <laughs> now the game is still highly competitive. Is it going to be rook c1 at last? Queen c8 was mate? No, there was bishop d8. I mean, it's still a good move, but any move would do. It didn't have to be queen c8. Thanks, cuz, for the 500 bits. And uh, regalin core, uh, thanks for the four months. Is he finally able to put this lad away? Knight c8, check, sure, but but where's the where's the putback? What is he gonna do? He's choking. The plebs are pretty high rated. I think so, cuz. I think they're high rated. They're dangerous right now. Now that it has started, can we join? No. These tournaments, you uh Oh, bishop d6, what the hell is going on? Oh my goodness. The knight's going to come to c4. Oh my goodness. It's terrible. It's terrible, guys. King b7, he's going to trap his rook or something. Rook c5, bishop e 7 takes king a6. And he's, he's going to panic and like lose his whole rook or something. Oh no. Oh no. Knight a3. He's losing a rook and a piece. Is he capable of that move? Oh, he is. Whew. At least he played that, but I have a feeling he's still going to lose this. He's, he's down on time. He just gave up his other pawn. I mean, holy smokes, this is bad. He won a rook in the opening, and his opponent hung his entire queen. And black is winning. <laughs> He's got 19 seconds. What's going on, man? Move. Oh, my goodness. 
King up, Rook over. I mean, what's what are you gonna do? You got 13 seconds and you're out here losing to Profic 10. Profic hung, like, I don't know. There was like so many material points. I can't even count it. There's gonna be a check. Rook D3 is a very high level move. Holy smokes, Profic. Just took him to the woodshed. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I mean, what type of 1400 is this? Profic hung like 20 points in material and then played Rook D3 at the end. No, no, I mean, he took him out back and he hopped on the John Deere. That's, that's just disgusting. So you can be on mobile, guys, but the problem with mobile is that if you open, let's say, chess.com app, and then you go in the Twitch chat to, to check if your game started, then as soon as you switch tabs, it counts you as offline. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you're in, definitely in, like, have the chess.com app open. So you can't be in the chat. All right, here we go. Profic 10. My God, I... My goodness, guys, I don't know what to say. Profic 10 is out here and he's just, he's just dicking down subs. It's, it's brutal. It's brutal. Uh, Newsarkham gifted a sub to Profic 100. I'm not sure if that's Profic 10. Guys, we can't, we cannot confirm that. I cannot say for sure that this is a sub versus sub matchup. Those could be very, very different people. Very different people. The thing is, guys, I think, I think what happens though is this is basically like a scouting grounds. You know what I mean? All of the, all of the, uh, the college scouts are on the sidelines of the clipboards. Oh yeah, there's promise in this one. Oh, I love the passing, love the agility. Oh, oh tremendous athleticism there. Well, love it, love it. What's that? What, sorry, what's that one's name? Profic a hundred, you said? Ten, ten, ten. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Love the ball handling on that one. Yes. What? 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 Uh, excuse me. That one over there, T Tashunka. Why is he on his knees? Anyone know? Oh, he's a sub. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Profic 10, no, lo love it, love it. Yeah, no, he's great, he's great. We should get him for next season, yeah. No, it's just the scouting grounds. It's a, it's a, these are the scouting grounds, guys. So we're, we're here selecting future teams. We're trying to see who holds some prospective talent for Team Sub in the future. Someone says, if Profic wins again, I'll donate 10 subs in honor of his of the 10 in his name. Cuz says, if Profic wins at all, I'm donating 10,000 bits. Really? You would donate $100 if he beat Komodo Dragon, Anthony Atanasov, Lali, Nicholas Stoyzin, <laughs> Spicy Indian Swag, Salty Clown, Roy Roy Grigovsky, and this simp right here? That's worth a hundred dollars to you. That's like a, I mean, that's like a, it's like a Pornhub video or something. Like you can't, you can't have, you can't, you can't have like ten chess bra subs going down. Like, like ten dollars a sub or something. My goodness, we, we're worth more than that. I'd like to think so, at least. Rook C1. I mean, this is a deep move. Rook to C1. He's got all the pawns defended. And meanwhile, Simpovsky over here is probably going to play knight E7 and blunder the rook and then blunder the knighters. I mean... For fu I mean, for fuck's sakes. For fuck's sakes. <sighs> Sean, what the fuck is going on here, bud? Literally, literally out here simping. 
<laughs> Just ridiculous. Profec is going to win again. Because Sean can't keep his rooks in his pants. Guys, we can't say Profic is, is, is out here playing better. Profic hung a rook and a queen in the last game. A rook and a queen. You could have the best computer that pleb money can buy, and you give most people a rook and a queen for free, they're going to beat you. They're going to beat you. Sean, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous, buddy. I started this match as an exhibition to show that, obviously, the subs are better than the plebs, and this is why. And we got Buddy over here, <laughs> Profic 10. He's like some sort of fucking hitman. He's coming over, he's ruining my demonstration. He's ruining my demonstration. Bishop h6. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of ways to really KO the lad here. Rook takes f6. Okay, takes. Yep, yeah, maybe rook f1. Oh, okay. These are some deep moves. King back. What are we thinking about? Okay. Remember, when he checks you again, just go back. Yep. Yeah. Five seconds. Let's do it, buddy. Maybe a little check ski. Yeah, or not. We could, yeah, let's flag. Let's flag. We could flag. Guys, I mean, Sean Simp out here, hanging rooks. What? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? All right. Royal Royal, oh my goodness, 10 gifted subs from Machiavelli, Machiavelli Toto, buddy, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, I mean, this is just crazy, what, what am I looking at here, Profic 10 is out here, dicking people down, nope, GVA, there won't be, I'm doing some commentary on the Botez channel after this, 500 bits from Onik, thank you. Tabar Jack, thanks for the 57 months. I have had Piri Piri chicken. Very tasty. Oh, F6. That's a dangerous move, by the way. That's a dangerous move. What are we thinking about? This guy spent 40 seconds on four moves. That guy's going to flag in like another five or something. Take it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bishop back. Okay, this one's fine as well. Probably d4 or something. Maybe bishop b4. Ah, uh, bishop b6, yes. Hang hanging a full piece. Hanging a full piece. Oh, oh. Guys, <laughs> this guy is not good. What the hell is wrong? I did none of these fucking subs can take any of his pieces. He's hanging everything. The guy hangs queens, rooks, <laughs> bishops, knights. See, nobody's taking any of it. Nobody's taking it. He's hanging everything. Profic has hung a piece or more, not even in every single game. He's he's hanging like a piece every 10 moves. Like, like he's clocking a pretty fast average. He he's actually clocking in. Again, this is more pieces hanging. Queen A4, and there's just simply two pieces hanging. Queen B5 also accomplishes the same thing. Like, I don't know how he's getting away with this. So Joe was gifting subs to the plebs on the enemy team. He gifted some subs. You know, he's trying to get them on team sub because, you know, they're pretty high rated. But Joe, I think we identified now that 
that this guy, Profit 10, he's the guy that we missed. Our scouting report was not accurate. We needed this guy. Guys, he is not checkmating. There's a there's a checkmated one. <laughs> He's not doing it. Instead, Profic is trying to lose. He's trying to lose. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to be here. And we still can't checkmate a guy who's trying to. We got a guy like jumping off a bridge and fucking Royo Royo is like a firefighter or something. He keeps keeps grabbing his arm as he's jumping off. It's like, let him jump. He doesn't want to be here. End the game. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen? He's going to get his queen trapped or something. Okay. He's, is he going to mate him or something? Please. Please. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. Get Profic out of here. This guy is an absolute elite... Navy SEAL. Okay, and somehow he's only down a piece. So actually, of all of Profix games, this is probably his best one. That's what's insane. This might be Profix's best game. Now, that has no bearing on the potential result of the game, but I think it's his best one. We're going to double the rooks. Are we going to trade some pieces? Are we going to win a knight? Any of the above. Any of the above. I guarantee in this position, if Profic picked up his king and castled in either direction, Royal Royal probably wouldn't notice shit. He'd be like, yeah, okay, that makes, yeah, that's fine. Fine with me. Okay. He literally is about to run into checkmate. He's so fucking lucky. He's so lucky he had Bishop F1 there. I'm just going to say, he did not calculate that. I guarantee it. That was almost checkmate. That was almost checkmate. That is a hanging rook, my friend. That's a hanging rook, and you're hanging your bishop. What the fuck am I looking at? You just hung everything. What? What the hell is this? Take it. Take something. Oh, great. Yeah, great. This is just a tense... Just a tense game here. He's going to walk into rook h1 and like h4 mate or something. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not mating anybody here. What is this shit? There's no way this is going to happen. Oh no, oh no. He's got six seconds. He's fucking going to lose to Profic again. But, but Profic has... Has hung everything. He's hung. He's hung mate. Mate has been on the board. It's been on the board for like two whole moves. You can't. You can't say anything. This is like a like subs masquering subs. Oh my goodness. He's got two pass bonds. <laughs> Profic has gained a hundred elo in like literally twenty minutes here. Guys, we have a 1,000 who got all the way up to, to Salty Clown. Salty Clown. He's like 1750. He's the midway point of our entire roster. And we got a 1,000 who is hanging mate pretty much every game. Like if we think of how many moves versus like the overall valuation of the game, Profic is clocking like like a plus nine advantage for his opponents every 10 moves. His opponents are on average up plus nine every 10 moves. And, they, and not a single one has been able to win. Just terrible here, just terrible. Can we, I'm gonna look at Profix perspective because I, I actually wanna see, I need to see what it looks like to make these types of blunders and, and not have people capitalize on them. I, I need to see what that looks like. Well, of course his last game was 35 accuracy. How could it possibly be more? There was checkmate on the board. You, you can't score more than 35 accuracy. It doesn't make sense. It's like physically impossible. If your opponent can checkmate you, I don't know how you average like better than 35 accuracy. Like, <laughs> because allowing mate is a 0% accuracy move. Like, 
That's going to bring your average way down. Way down. What is this opening? I can honestly say it doesn't matter. I can I can just tell you that. Nicola, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. I would put that money into upgrades for Salty Clown, Nicola, but I honestly don't think it's going to help. So I'm going to personally withhold that money for my, my own mental health. For my own mental health. Thank you, Nicola, for 10,000 bits. Veldreva, thanks for five months. This is the, this guy's a plant or something. But the thing is, I think my subs are the plants. He paid them off. Because my my subs are unable to win these games when there's checkmates sitting on the board. So I think the subs are the ones who are actually trolling here. You can't blame Profect. The guy's been trying to lose for like seven games. Black is better here? Well, again, that literally has no bearing on the result of the game. In fact, that's probably a bad thing. I need one of my subs to just get a lost position, and then maybe we have a chance. Because so far, I mean, it's just hanging pieces everywhere. Because so far, all of our winning positions have been immediately lost. Bishop here is pretty much game winning. Bishop g5? Bishop g5? This is winning, it's over. Bishop g5 is over. Oh, he played it. Oh my goodness. Finally. Finally. Oh my god. Get Ooh. get this guy out of my stream. Profic 10. Holy smokes. Jesus. I never thought I'd say this, but. I'm so impressed with Salty Clown beating a 1,000. <laughs> that's 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 the single. This is like top top ten clips of of April or something. I've never been more proud. Never ever been more proud. Salty Clown against Tap 101. I mean, the thing is, Tap 101 is 1,200. Salty Clown should, should, he should be going on a streak here. Profic deserves a gifted sub. I'm pretty sure Profic already got one. News Arcam, thanks for the uh, tier one sub there, my man. Yes, yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. All right, buddy. You just got here? Well, I'm pretty sure that, that the brain cells belonging to my first five representatives on team subs also just arrived into the chat as well they were lagging a little behind like we had fucking Roy Arroyo and Sean Simp over here showing up for the game and their brain cells showed up like 20 minutes later Salty Clown is going for the jugular here Queen takes h6 and Knight g5 Good sack, yep. I can agree with that. But but this this is what you guys were supposed to do to Profic. The guy was hanging like sacks like this. He was hanging mates, rooks, queens, pieces. The guy was trying to lose actively. Are we gonna see Queen G5 or is Salty just gonna grab? Wonder what kind of lad Salty is. Knight H2. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> but sure. Knight H2. Okay, Queen E3. That's uh quite the move. I think he's gonna play here and he's trying to bait the lad into that. And I think it worked. And I think it worked. A little bait ski. A little bait ski. Bishop G7. 
He's dicking him down. Salty Clown is going for the mate with the bishop. Oh, he's dicking him down dirty here. Oof. Just nasty. Just nasty. Salty is angry. He's... No, no, he saw what Profic did to our squad. And... No, he's coming back and he's... he's no, he's really embarrassing. He's going to be putting on a show. You see a mate in one, you look for better. Just remember, guys, tap 101. Poor guy. Signed up for a great match. He's like, oh, great. You know, I'm tap 101. I'm 1,200. Maybe I can come in here, get a couple games, maybe play uh, Money Burt, 1,100. Oh, maybe I'll get a tough game against the 1,400. The guy's first game is against a fucking, like, 1,750 who's putting him in the fucking, tying him to the radiator down here. I mean, this is not what the lad signed up for either. And I mean, who's up next? It's VV Cool. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure this lad is uh, that keen on the game either. We got salty here, and I mean, it just. Oh man, I, I just feel the attack happening. Salty's bringing the artillery in. Yep, here it comes. This one's going to hurt. Thanks to Lewis Cruiser for the 18 months. Icar Tercero, thanks for the five months as well. Okay, so the bishop comes back, but we are probably going to see h6. Does he care about this pawn? Yes, b6 is a good move. I like that. I do like that. h6. He's looking to take. That is a free pawn. Maybe the guy wants to play rookie one. I can't tell. Ooh. VV cool. I mean, he didn't sign up for this. The poor, the poor lad. Yeah, he's just up a piece, guys. Salty's just up a piece. Yep, full extra piece for Salty Clown. Uh, by the way, VV Cool just offered a draw. And I'd like to report that Salty Clown declined the draw. Just just to just to let you know. But but you know, like he declined the draw, not by moving. Sometimes what happens is you make a move and you decline your opponent's draw. But what he did was he he took the time. To, to go over to the box where it says, do you want to draw? And he clicked no. He's just like, he actively, no. And then he went back to the game and then he made a move. He said, no. No draw. Yep, yeah, maybe some trades here. Okay, is he just going to go for trades? Queen h4. Some tactic from the, from the clown. And VV Cool, I mean, again, <laughs> VV Cool did not sign up for the the poor guy. No one signed up for this abuse. Profic, Profic, by the way. I mean, he did it to his own team as well. He embarrassed the subs, but he also set up his own plebs to be to be crucified here. This is rough. This is rough. Uh, again, VV Cool offered a draw, and I'd like to report again, it was declined by Salty Clown actively. He declined it before he made that move, and then he made that move. And then he resigned. Okay, the resignation's in place. Oh no, we got Yasser in the chat. Guys, thank God Yasser did not see Profic. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, hello Yasser. Good afternoon, good evening. My goodness, Yasser, we had a 1,000 from the pleb team. A 1,000 who, who doesn't even have $5 to pony up to the channel. And he, he, beat, he beat like a 1670 blitz on chess.com. It, it's something that I'm happy you didn't see. Okay, queen there. I'm thinking bishop there is the move. Yep. Yeah. The DNC. 
coming up with some good ones here. Yeah, it's very, very important, guys, that, that Yasser was not here for that. Because uh, we no, we, we, we want to make sure he stays, stays healthy. Well, the problem is, Yasser, I would administer a drug test. But the only guys who were clearly doing drugs were my subs. Because Profic was, he was blundering checkmate. He was blundering checkmate in ones. He was, he was hanging full queens, full rooks. I mean, the guy had an accuracy rate of about 35% over like five games. I mean, if anyone was, was huffing paint, I think, I, I, think, I think it was our guys, Yasser. So that's why I'm a little, I'm a little reluctant to administer the drug test. Uh, I feel that the results are going to come back and we're going to lose a lot of our squad. So I, I decided to vote against the drug test. I mean, why should we really be getting castles here? We got knight a5 lurking in the position. Definitely a dangerous move. G4. Whoa. Holy cow, what a move. Knight a5 played. Okay, I don't know what prompted knight a5 to be played after g4. Like, I truly, truly don't. Uh, okay, the last four moves have been absolutely incredible to me. Sorry, five moves. I, I don't know what just happened. It all started with G4, and it's like it's some sort of force line that just took place there. Probably queen there, knight takes, queen h1. I mean, if I had to keep predicting nonsense. Oh my god. For, guys, I forgot. This is fucking salty clown. No, no, no. For a second, I, well, the thing is, it's a thirteen hundred. Normally in these tournaments, thirteen hundreds play thirteen hundreds. Sorry, I thought I was watching a, a twelve hundred chess match, but we got a seventeen fifty in this game. Jesus! Holy smokes! Oh, okay, guys. No, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. I don't know what's going on here, but somehow white it came out of that alive or better. HL275, thanks for the 17 months. Okay, so somehow both rooks just disappeared in a matter of moves. And a queen. Both rooks and a queen. And a queen. Both rooks and a queen. And a queen. Yep, there we go. Finally. LP fed goat. Thanks for the sub. Jeez. Here we go. All right. So salty clown against Bawatundi. Remember, if you guys are coming up next, like uh, Gregovsky, Spicy Indian Swag, Nikola Lolly, uh, Bawatundi, Seven House, Electro, Dr. Shepard. Ahmad, make sure you guys are in live chess. Make sure you are in live chess. Okay, so Salty is going for the king here. After pawn takes d5 to, to keep the queens on. And let me tell you, Salty is not moving that knight. Let me tell you. He is not moving that knight. Knight h2 is very interesting. Is he going to do some weird sack here that he shouldn't do? f6. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is he going to take that? Queen d6. Okay. Threatening mate. Takes, takes, knight takes. Maybe bishop e6. And there's, there's at least some threats there. What is Salty doing? He's going for the jugular. He's going for the jugular. Takes, queen takes, bishop takes e6. I think he's got a good position. I think this attack is really working out for him. This is fine. This is fine. I mean, probably queen back there and he's he's like looking to do this. That would be the salty move, you know? <laughs> Eddie Barber says, what is salty doing? Crack! <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't say, Eddie Barber. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why I was trying to make sure my boys weren't drug tested, you know? <laughs> I gotta make- I gotta- I gotta keep a- I gotta feel the lineup here, you know? Okay, e4 played. There's no queen d4 check. Yeah, Salty didn't want to trade queens though, yeah, sir. You gotta you gotta appreciate this is a guy who takes care of his ladies, you know? He's always gotta have a lady around. Rookie A. I mean I think Salty's still doing well here. I can still see it working out here. Probably probably Rook here. Yep. Makes sense. This bishop, is he going to save it or maybe he's just going to leave it and take back? There's a few moves to play here. Okay. The rook into the action. G5. Holy smokes. He's just going for it. He is just going for it. Okay. A couple options here. I feel like he's going to take with the queen because he's he's looking at that. Definitely this move is on the horizon here, chat. Maybe queen c3 is going to be played. Oh, it actually is played. Wow. I think bishop there, you can't take back, but you, you got, I mean, it's pretty much the only move. I think it's the only move. I'm trying to think what else he could come up with here. No, I don't see anything. Okay, he does do that. I mean, I think he knows that he's not supposed to take that pawn. So he does it this way. He's He's still got... He's maintaining some level of threats in the position, you know, like at least there's something. I feel like he's very interested in that move. Yeah, that's a, you know, it's a salty move, you know, it allows mate, but he's very interested in it. It's just sometimes you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And I just had a feeling salty. That's a, you know, it's an attacking move. Boom, you rook h3, but you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You know what I mean? Uh, he's an attacking player. What can I say? So Bawatundi takes him out here. All right, Gregovsky. Let's see. Let's see how Bawatundi is going to handle things. So we got Gregovsky, Bawatundi. We're pretty much halfway through here. But there have been some pretty serious performances put on so far. Oh, we're, we're up to theory all of a sudden. Some theory. Okay, takes, takes. I think white should be a little bit better here. It got the space. Is he going to play knight there? No. Nope. Okay, so black on move 10 has no pieces developed. Yep. Congrats there, bud. Uh, ben Kopanins, thanks for the seven months. Maybe bishop to g5. Okay, knight there is a fine move too, though. Oh, that's a huge pawn. Oh my goodness, you can't be blundering that pawn, man. That's everything. That's the anchor to the position. That's the most offensive pawn to lose. Oh, terrible to watch. Oh no, now this pawn's going down. Oh my goodness. Is e4 going to be played? Okay, he goes here. I think there's chances now. Takes, takes, f6. And bishop there. Oh my goodness, but he, he blundered a piece. What? What? Hello? Am I watching the same game? I just want to make sure we're on the same board here. Okay, d5. 
sure. He's got the two pawns in the center. But I mean, Gregovsky is uh, just getting fondled here. Queen f3. Okay, so I imagine the rooks are coming into the middle here. Maybe the pawns are just going to start rolling, pushing baby. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. See? He's using pushing baby again. What? Take the what the hell? Take it. What are you doing? If he mates him like this without a struggle, that would be very surprising. Very surprising. F6 played. That's a big move. Maybe queen g3 setting up rook c7. E3, blundering the pawn. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, now queen g3. Ah, yes. A great move. Threatening, fuck all, and uh, there's no rook c7 anymore. Love it. Love it. Okay, meanwhile, the, the boys are just rolling down the board here. I don't know. I don't know what he's playing. Even if he takes that, it's not even, it's nothing. It's not anything. It's zero of anything. What's going on here? Gregovsky, what are you doing? Your village is being attacked and you're hunting berries. Look, there's two pawns. Those aren't your pawns, by the way. Does he think they're his pawns? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell? This is not an attack. What's going on? The guy has like five queens. Oh, rook takes h6. Yes. A salty fucking clown move. Great. Great. That's proof that my subs are actually doing the same strand of sativa. This is like, it's, they're on the exact same puff, I can tell. <laughs> Just brutal. Just brutal. We got a 1500 just absolutely taking names. No, I agree, Nicola. It, it, it cannot be afforded. Just, just cast me into the abyss. Bawatundi is really putting on a show here. Where is he from as well? Nigeria. Like, the thing is, in, in Nigeria... He might be like the highest rated chess player. He might be the strongest player in the country or something. C4, maybe A3, B4? <laughs> That's right, Yasser. I don't know what these guys are doing. They got no sense of danger, you know? Their king's getting assaulted. And and they're all, they're over there foraging. Okay, so we got a pretty much symmetrical pawn structure here. Bishop a3 would be a nice move. Trading that bishop off. Yep. Oh, I like the move. I like the move. But the thing is, Bawatani is playing a little bit faster right now. Okay, now normally I would say that's just a stone cold blunder. But he actually has e4 to at least win the piece back. He's playing it like a tactic. What? Knight d6 e4, like he had it pre-moved or something. <laughs> that's not that's not a tactic, right? You like you you definitely lost the pawn there. I'm just just confirming. He's just showing off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's losing a pawn. In order to show off that tactic. Rook d8. Takes, takes. Bishop b5. And he's losing or something. Well, rook d6. There is not an 85. Rook d6. He might hold on. Rook c7. He's losing though. Oof. He's very fortunate not to be lost here. <laughs> he's very fortunate not to be just lost. That was very close. If bishop takes, maybe there's this, but rook takes should be the move. Rook d1. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's playing well. Rook d7. Mm. 
Rook c7, yes. Defending the seventh rank and allowing checkmate. That seems like a move you might do. Or something ridiculous like f5. Can we just keep it simple, bud? I mean, what are we thinking about here, Spicy? What are we thinking about? He's threatening me in one. You've got very limited moves. Finally. Holy smokes. Takes, okay. I don't know, like this. There's this move. Taking the pawn. And he's always got back rank to worry about. Rook a8. Okay, he wants to hang on to his pawns, guys. But holy smokes, he's down on time here. b5. Oh, that's a good move. It's a good move. Rook b7. This guy's dangerous. Okay, Spicy's playing well there, but he's down a full minute. The question is, can he win this game or not? That is the question here. He's got, he's got the pawn. Is it enough? Is it enough? Maybe rook here he's going to try. Yeah, that's good now because the pawn is hanging. He should have put his king on g3. Now that's two pawns for Spicy. He's going to move the rook, get h4 and g5 in. Uh-huh. Still tough, though. Still tough. You know, white can still just shuffle the rook and be a little tricky. He's up a minute still. He's up a minute. What? What? Ah! What am I looking at? Oh my god. That is just so disgusting. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Somebody revoked this guy's ID card. I don't want him... I don't want him to be able to go to the liquor store. He doesn't even deserve to drink his sorrows away after this. Oh my goodness. That is so bad. That's it's simply the worst move in the position. He walked himself into a mate. And Bawatundi is like scoring a Grandmaster Norm here or something. I mean... What do we want? What 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 am I supposed to do? Oh, see, this is what's happening, guys. Wait, what? Why are they playing each other? What? There's, there's one, fu there's one, there's just one, one fucking rule of this tournament. There's one rule. There's one rule. It's been the only rule. Let me start the fucking game. Just let me start. Just wait. Just do nothing. Just do nothing. You don't have to do anything. You just sit there and you do nothing. You just sit there with a hard cock and someone fucks you. You don't have to do anything. You just enjoy yourself. That's all you have to do. You just sit there. But people keep... They, they keep trying to do stuff. They keep trying to do stuff. Just sit there. What's so hard about that? It's like getting a lap dance. You just sit there. A girl tries to give you a lap dance. You don't start dancing with you. Just sit there. Just enjoy it. You don't have to work. Let me start the game. Yeah, Nicola's definitely, he's definitely this type of guy. Oh, oh, he might be trying to go there. Nicola's up to something. Nicola's a very mean guy, so I definitely expect him to try to check me on H2 here. Yep, like I said, yeah, he, he can't help it. Is H5 coming? Oh, queen b2. Okay, Nicholas moved the queen like 50 times in the last couple moves, but at least he's making threats. I'm pretty sure h5, h4 would be good.
Does the game count? Of course it counts. Unless we lose. And then it doesn't, of course. And then I'll blame the pleb. So just wait and see the result, guys. Okay, are we going to take this pawn? Nope, bishop b5. Okay, it's an all right move. Looking to take and take. Okay, I think he's going to go for this. Bawatundi is a resilient 1500. Well, she's almost a 1600. I got to call him a 1600 chat. Queen e5, queen e4. Queen b6 does rook takes d5. Queen c4, good, good move as well. But he's just, he's down, he's down so much time here. Because, guys, it looks like it's going to have to be a restart. It might have to be a restart, chat. Because, uh, you know, the rule is that I have to start the games. You, you guys know that, right? Maybe pawn takes? I mean, you guys know the rules at the end of the day. I mean, the rules are rules. Rules are rules. That's not fair. I, I agree. It's not fair that these guys started the game without permission. <sighs> Terrible. Oh, take his queen. Take his queen. Go, Nicola. Come on, buddy. Beat him. Three seconds. Oh, my God. One second. It's not enough time. It's not enough time. Like I said, guys, it is a restart. Oh, that is too bad. Ooh, maybe someone can let Bawatundi know in the chat. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate Bawatundi. Damn. Gonna have to restart at Bawatundi, unfortunately. A little mix up there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoopsies. A little mix up. Uh, it's a typical mistake for a pleb to make, though, because uh, these subs, I mean, they played in lots of these battles before, so they know all about the rules, which is that I have to start the game. But, uh, but Bawatundi is a pleb. Easy mistake to make, you know, you didn't know the rules. Okay, so I'm going to handle this the same way that I'm going to issue a statement here. Commissioner Greg Shahadi of the Chess Bra uh, Sub Battles League. Guys... We understand that the the match already started and there there was an appeal issued by the Nigerian team. We have decided that we don't care about the appeal and although it was my mistake for for not stopping the game after it had already started, I'm going to let the result stand and we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to uh, it, eliminate the other team. So I'm letting the result stand, guys. I'm letting the result stand. We're eliminating Nikola here, despite his uh, his noted appeal. We 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 have to let the result stand. The precedent has been set by the Pro Chess League, and I stand by that decision. I stand by that decision. Here we go. Lolly is taking on Bawatundi. Can he take this lad out? As I said, so far, all we need from the, from the pleb squad is Bawatundi and Profic 10. They won together like nine games or something. Are we going to get 95? Yes. The Rooks are going to double. Both players playing very quickly. Already at Lolly. Exactly. I mean, th these matches, man, I'm telling you. The Rooks are double. Knight F3. Maybe G4, G5? I'm not sure. He's trying to put that Knight there, but White is going to respond in kind by putting the Knight on E5. Also, when you have a pawn on h6, it's much harder to play f6 to kick the knight out because the squares become a little bit weak. Taking. Interesting. I'm not so sure I would have done that. Very speedy 1500, yes. 
Taking C4, monk ass. How are people 400 ELO hour getting wrecked? Well, that's a great question, believe me. That is a great question, believe me. You would have had to be here to see the, the atrocious stuff we saw earlier. You really had to be here. I think I would play G5. Yeah, I like that. I like that decision. Ooh. Takes, takes, takes. Check. Can he get out of that? That's the question. I feel like he can, but it's a scary proposition. Because there's also rook check king e5 if he's afraid. Because he can't take that pawn, that's one thing. But I'm pretty sure both of these moves are playable. He goes with this one. King e7, I thought we had rook f3. Yeah, king e, sorry, king e7, we had rook f3, so we're not getting mated there. I think that was holding together. Barely, barely, but I think it was holding together. And here, I think Lolly is definitely the favorite to win. f4, f5, rook swinging. Yep, I don't think... Unless rook there, rook, rook, unless he somehow gets a checkmate here, king d7, rook f7, that's the only way I can see it. King d7, and he's not in time because of f5. But if rook h2, then rook, okay, rook there, he's still got f5, so he's, he's good. But uh, close, close. He's like one move away from getting mated, but of course it's not going to happen because the rook, the rook is there supporting the Rook is there supporting. Am I proud? Yes, I am proud that uh, Lali is going to win this game, hopefully. And as a result of winning the game, a Rook H5, by the way, is very resilient. That's a very good try. Takes, takes. He can try this, although after Rook there, White's, white's better. Uh, I am proud that Lali is going to win a game and probably not gain a rating point. That's essentially what we're looking at here. Oh, and if he takes, he might think that it's a draw. It's definitely a winning King and Pawn endgame. Definitely a winning king and pawn endgame. Okay, king there is a very strange move. <laughs> Just king e5. Oh, <laughs> I take it back. King e7 was enough that Bawatundi bowed out. And as I said, plus zero. <laughs> plus zero. <laughs> plus zero rating. Lolly against seven hells. It's got, he's got to win a bunch in a row. I hope the pleb team is ready. Remember, Electro, Dr. Shepard, Ahmad, Henrik, too weak, too slow. Hope you guys are around. I know Anthony's in the chat, and I'm pretty sure I saw Ahmed on here as well. But uh, just bear in mind, guys, your games may be coming up very soon. So we got a 2200 against 1700. Technically, there should be big favorites here. Because the, the pleb squad has really eliminated a good number of our people, our good people here. We're here to show that this is a pay-to-win environment. If you sub, you will show superiority. Is Lolly going to wipe the board here? That's what we want to know. Is Lolly going to wipe the board? B5. Yep. And I like the I like the speed from Lolly. I like the speed. 3,800 on the dot. Look at that, Eddie. 3,800 subs. Going for 4K next. That's right. The plebs got a 2766. Definitely, definitely scary. A huge thing here for seven health. I don't know why he's thinking so much. He doesn't he doesn't need to do anything. You know, he's not under pressure here. Talk, I think our peak sub count was like fifty two or fifty four hundred. I can't remember.
Okay, he finally took, but that he thought for a full minute here. A full minute. That is just too much time. Way too much time. Knight f1. But I mean, any move from Lolly here is good. He's just got such a big time advantage. You don't need to do anything special. Now, this is not a threat, but he would maybe like to make it one. The thing is, f4 is just nearly impossible. It cannot happen. It's such a, such a good position to play as black because you know that white just can never get this move in. C3 is trying to activate his bishop, but again, the time is valuable. Takes, takes, and this knight is kept out of C4 nicely by that pawn on B5. It's a very strong position for black. I would like to see H6. Seems like a nice move to play, but I mean, pretty much anything will do here. This is how you expect a 2200 sub of chess bra to take out his opponent, you know? Hitting that bishop. If bishop b2, don't forget, queen a2 is probably going to hurt. Yeah, this move should be very strong. Oh, okay. He's trying this or something? I'm not sure. Oh, he's just trying to trade. Oh, <laughs> well, I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. An extra queen, 2200, chest bra sub. He's got all the credentials. Glad you're liking it, Fiery. He's got all the credentials. And he's actually taking the free queen for a change. Because, guys, don't forget, Profic was doing that stuff too, but you guys just weren't taking the queen. Finally, Lolly showing us how to take free queens. Here we go. Lolly against Electru. He's moving up the ranks here. He's putting some wins together. Dr. Shepard and Ahmad, make sure you guys are standing by and logged in the live chat. So you guys might be next. Same with Anthony and Amadan. All right, E5. It's looking good. It's looking good. Comfortable here. Uh, hmm. Is this, are these hungry and, is this hungry and uh, Bulgaria? Yeah. I was wondering, those are the, the flipped, <laughs> the rearranged colors. Uh, probably bishop, uh, bishop e3 actually allows this. I guess maybe the queen should retreat, sure. Develop this bishop, maybe get castled. E6, castles, look safe. The thing is, uh, white can play like B3 or bishop B3. Something to stop this rook, and then the bishop can develop. Rook can go to D1. I think this is an overwhelming position for Lolly. With F6 to shake up the structure, it's even possible. Bishop B3. Bishop D3 is also fine, but I like B3. Ah, I can see it. I could make a case for this. I could definitely make a case for that. Because bishop b3, maybe you're worried about c5, c4. I could definitely see that. Maybe he wants to just bring this bishop back here and go b3. I mean, he's got to make a choice here. Okay, queen there. I think he's going to go bishop f1 now. Because now g3 is a great move. Hits the queen, and that pawn is protected by the bishop. So that is just a nice... That is just nice there. Yeah, I think he's going to go g3 and bishop b3, the next two moves. Yep. That's a free pawn. This bishop can also slide back to f2 to get out of here. 
Personally, guys, I would be playing g3 a long time ago because the queen had nowhere to go there. The rook was covering that, bishop covering that. So the queen would have to go back here, which is no good. So I definitely would have played this a long time ago. Here, I think queen d8 is playable, but he might go queen h6 because that looks, looks a little sketchy. Okay, knight e4. Finally, that knight jumps into that juicy looking square. Knight e8 gives up the exchange. And this move, I thought there's always c4 with a big threat there. It's a very tough position to play. Very tough to play. It's also the time. Lolly has got a minute and a half more. Knight check is coming. King's going to go in the corner, maybe just b3. That's what I would do. Just b3. Just, ugh, what a nasty position to play. Yeah. Oh, I love it. These knights are dominated. And you can just double the rooks or something. Lolly is getting the job done in a very nice way here. Very nice way. I think knight d7 now is, I mean, it could have been played last turn. It's a very strong move, but I definitely appreciate the move b3. But now, now I think it's time for a few tactics. Knight d7 is pretty winning. Okay, here we go. Probably not the way I would have done things, but still, you know, winning material, getting the job done. c6 and rook d7. He takes. I feel like you should start running the pawn. Okay, it's a good move as well. Rook d8. I think just queen back and c6 is fine. Finally time to push that pawn. There we go. There we go. You can keep going. There's a little trick there, but pretty much if you trade the uh if you trade the rooks off the board, you're not gonna get made if the guy's two seconds. It's just uh no worries. No worries. Electra is trying here, but I just don't think, don't think he has it in him. Electra goes down and lolly. Here we are. Hey, thanks, uh, Bazooka Tooth. Gift and a sub. Welcome, welcome. That's right, Nicola. Lolly's doing well. He avenged you. He avenged you. Okay, so what do we have here? I think this is a theoretical line. I think this is a theoretical line. I'm not sure if the knight usually goes... I mean, you can go knight f6 here. It's fine. But sometimes the knight goes to e7 to deal with this, uh, this threat. Castle, I guess he's going to go. I think, I think f5 wants to happen here, though. I think that's the move. I think f5 now is strong, personally. Because if you go takes, obviously this is bad, and bishop takes, g3, pawn takes, then if you take, there's a nasty rookie one, and you have to move your king. It's not what you want. And this move, normally you just, I mean, normally you just can't play that because of moves like this. But let's see if it's... See if there are any tricks here. What the heck is this from Lolly? Knight takes. This is like lost. Ugh. Oh, the king's gonna have to move here. Oh, this is nasty. This is nasty. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> well, that didn't go well. Bishop g5 is a strong move. Queen c7. Probably rook e1, I would assume. Yep. And the thing is, if you play a move like that, sure, you kick the bishop, but the resulting weakness on the light square is too much. You can never get your king up because you always get checked. So you can never sort of get your rook around your king. There's, there's no way here. Okay, queen e3. Looks like a strong move. He's trying to end it. He's trying to end it right away. Might have to flip the board, yeah. I gotta get out of this POV. This this might be you know, he's trying to end it on the spot. Queen d8. I think he's going to go bishop f4. 
Yep. Probably bishop there. Well, Elfish, if you could do this or something, and he would take, nice guy, maybe you get your bishop there, but I don't think he's going to take you. You don't look like a trustworthy. You look like you're up to something if you're playing a move like c5. Oof, rookie 7. This queen a3 move, by the way, is also nasty. I think Lally had to play uh, c5. I think that's the only move. Stop this. But now rookie 7, I mean, has to be good. King there gets mated. There we go. That's mate in 2. Mate in 2. And that's an absolute violation of Lally's rights as a sub. An absolute violation. An absolute violation. That was just a bad line. Allowing f5, but then e5. e5 I don't trust at all. All right. Here we go. Hey, S. Collins. How's it going? Eddie says, Lolly will have to put another zero after his name after laying that goose egg. Ooh. Eddie Barber coming with the chirps from downtown. Coming in with the chirps. Okay, solid position here. But Dr. Shepard also, I mean, this is a good line for sure against the London. Uh, as white, I would normally play h3 a little earlier, but it's not like this is that bad. h6 there, g5. You can play knight d2, for example, if you want to keep the bishop, or you can just allow this, and it's fine as well. We had Lolly get eliminated, Dan, your buddy Lolly. What happened? I missed it. He wants to play bishop g4 next and probably take this pawn. Okay, bishop f3, knight a3. It's an interesting position. I, 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 I would take either color here. What do the fire symbols mean? It usually just means that they won more than one game, like they were on a streak. No GVA. After this, uh... On uh, the Botez live channel, there's going to be a match. There's going to be a match. It's uh, Alexandra playing, I think, Jennifer Yu. And I'll be commentating. So I'll be actually, I'll be uh, over there on the Botez live channel after this. So we're just doing the one, uh, the one match today. Both players playing pretty quickly here. Uh, normally, b3 is not a move you like to play. Um, same with e4. These are very loosening moves uh, in the position here. Uh, this pawn is going to be hanging, though, when the queen moves. This pawn's hanging. Maybe rook e1. They can think about b5 as black. Yeah, this knight's... If it goes here, it loses the pawn again. Okay, e6. I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that. Definitely e5 is a consideration for white. Takes, takes, maybe queen e2. This pawn might be able to be taken later. Okay, takes with the knight. That makes sense, but at the same time, your center is a little more fragile now. It's going to go queen e2, or... Could have also considered bishop takes c2 and c takes d4 there. I think that was maybe missed. I think that, that could have been missed there. Like I said, though, I, I'd probably take either side at most points of this game. I think it's very balanced. Times even. I think these two bishops are dangerous. The center is getting assaulted here. This is just a good. This is a good game. Well, queen takes c1. That's got to be winning. Got to be winning. Yeah. I mean, rook takes d4, and this pawn really hurts White's position here. Okay, rook c. I think rook takes d4 is probably just good there. Rook c8. Still fine, rook c2. Because there's no queen e8, so it's not like that move threatens anything. I think he might still play it, but it definitely doesn't have its intended effect. 
Yeah, and this is the threat. That's the problem. It's just rook a1. Maybe bishop a6 is a tricky move. Threatening, eh, sort of threatening that, and also defending the knight. Bishop there, okay. He wants to play bishop e2 after rook a1. I get it. It's pretty much the same idea as this, and maybe this is even better. I'm not sure. So bishop e2 coming up next. Think about knight d7, Elfishies. You don't want to trade too many pieces as white. The more you trade, the more I think it's going to be clear that rook a1 just wins the game. So I think he wants to try to keep this knight to maybe do some checks or get the queen down there and use the knight to launch an attack. 25 seconds, Dr. Shepard is, is looking for the win here. That's the problem. He's trying to find the win. And I don't think he should be doing that. Take and queen e8 and take here. That might be good. But at the same time, maybe you want to keep things defended. I'm not sure. This is an important decision. This is an important decision. Because if you take and give these checks, then I, I think the best you have is maybe a draw, because rook a1 threatens checkmate in one. So I think I like this move if the goal is to go for the win. Maybe bishop g2. Yeah, he goes for this. He goes for says this. This is a threat, by the way. Rook takes e2 and take here. So maybe he plays bishop here. I love bishop there. That's a great move. Just as a tricky move to play. Also, check is, is an attempt. 12 seconds ticking down. Holy smokes. Rook takes e2 and rook e1 was possible there after knight. Oh, he's choking it out. He's choking it out. Knight takes, knight takes there. Knight takes there. Oh my goodness. And it's going to be a time scramble. I think Anthony's going to get it. Oh, Anthony got it in a time scramble. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That was a close one. I thought Dr. Shepard was winning most of the way there. But at, there was a point where he spent like 30 or 45 seconds trying to find, uh, I think, a, like a win, a forced win. There was a lot of them, but I think he was trying to find something to just knock out, and he wasted way too much on the clock. Way too much there. And Anthony comes away with the, with the win, staying in the tournament for his team. Anthony Atanasov representing the subs. All right, here we go. I believe that's Saudi Arabia. There it is. All right. This is a big match. This is a big match. Henrik and two week two slower. You guys uh, in the chat here? Just trying to double check. Let me know. Hope everyone's standing by. Last couple games coming up next. HS chest, you're Henrik, right? Yes, thought so. Okay. Two week too slow. I forget I forget who that guy was in chat. But he's a twenty seven hundred pleb, very dangerous. Very dangerous. E5, okay, not normally move you want to do, but he's trying to shut this down. I think that's a big advantage for white, though. Claim that diagonal, and man, this really hurts your dark squared bishop. I wouldn't normally go that. I wouldn't normally go that route. Oh, Ben Chalesco, there we go. There you are. All right, good, you're in chat. I was just checking. I saw you got gifted a sub there earlier from Joe. Pablo Escobar, thanks for the prime. All right, we got everyone in chat. Hello, Omid. Chris, afterwards, we're heading over to the Botez live channel, and uh, and we got um, we got some commentary coming up. <laughs> Guys, one thing is I was saying the uh I was saying that the the bishop from black was not that good after e5. So I think that this exchange helped uh Anthony more than it did his opponent. I think that it did.
d5 okay opening the position generally i'd say it's kind of good for the guy with the bishop white wants to play maybe a3 bishop a2 this would be a nice diagonal to get on but queen e2 is also fine here it's just that i don't know i feel i feel like i feel like he wants to take that's good i think that's the right choice queen e2 now maybe there's knight f4 although i think that white does need to try to start controlling okay he does go a3 i think that's a decent idea slightly up on time is anthony but i think it's very even so far g3 it looks like maybe a weakening move but i i appreciate that he's trying to control the squares here like put that bishop over there on g2 and white's position is tremendous yeah I, th I like what white is doing there i respect it i respect it brah bishop uh i think he's gonna go h6 no, b4 man anthony has really given up some light squares here i think uh, white's position is is starting to become very good bishop c4 yeah i like the way he's playing it too i like the way he's playing it as well e4 takes we got this move yeah this is getting to be an active knight takes Woo. That's not the one I expected because now rook takes. You got to play queen there. Yeah, I guess it's playable. Rookie one. Rookie one. I think he might go f5 here. Or sorry, knight d6 he might try. Hitting uh, some stuff. Knight f6, knight d6, both playable. Can't really go here. It's pinned. Knight d6. He does go for this. Maybe queen a2 has to be played, or queen f1. Okay, queen d3. He has a few moves in the end. Uh, the reason I thought this was a little suspicious was knight e5, and I think he wins a piece. 30 seconds as well. The other two moves would have been better. They would have kept him in the game, but knight e5 and Anthony, I think, is going to pull it out here. Either knight takes, doesn't matter. There's also queen down here. King f1 takes, and knight d3 is winning. Yeah, takes in knight d3 is the tactic. He's got to try this, but there's even knight d2. Yeah, lots and lots of wins. He's going to resign. It is over. 30 second time advantage and the tactics flowing while he's up a piece. That's too much. That's too much. Anthony comes with another victory for the subs. Let's go. Anthony with the white pieces. We're up. There we go, the classic London, the classic London. Queen e7, I think we'll see this. Otherwise, maybe bishop b5 playable too. Playing the London against a guy from the UK. Yeah, he's doing him dirty here. He's doing him dirty. Bishop d3 probably, and I think he's just going to try to get f4 and castle. Knight f3. So f4 is the other move. I thought he was probably going for f4, but this move is good as well. I guess f6 or f5. I think either way you probably take. Although this one does give you an option. I don't know. It's hard to say. If you castle though, it just feel like black goes like this and like takes his pawn back. It's a little tough to defend this. Yeah, so I think I think you made the right choice. Taking seems a bit better. And now you always have e4. I would probably play e4 right away. He decides to castle. If e5, we have e4. We also have bishop c2 or something hitting the pawn. But yeah, I like white's position after e4. This might be a good move or might be a very bad move. I think it's a very bad move. Yeah, 
There's tactics here. There's tactics here. Anthony finds that. That's a typical idea in this opening. And it's going to get in a position where he's just slightly better. He's got he's got everything to play for here. He's up a pawn. He's up on time. Nice little tactic there. And either move is fine here. But yeah, both okay. He goes queen takes. He goes queen takes e5. Rook d1. It all looks good so far. Uh, this is a little annoying. I would be tempted not to do this because it opens up the rook, but okay, at the same time, it does save your pawn and you maybe got queen d6 or queen c7 after. There's no threats. There, there are no threats. But I understand the idea that you don't want to open up this bishop and this rook, so you sort of leave the pawn there. For example, if takes, queen takes c5, queen comes back to e3. That looks pretty strong. That looks pretty strong. Is he going to go e3? Doesn't help much. Doesn't help much. Yeah, queen e3 I would do. Queen a7, hey. Look, uh, you gotta respect the pawn grabbing. If you take, there's gonna be too many trades here, I think. You wanna get this move in for black as, a, as an idea, but I don't, think it's, uh, I don't think it's enough. He's taking everything, yeah. He is taking everything. Don't know if he's gonna try rook e1. Black has a few threats to, to try. I mean, he wants to make this work. And like get the queen down there, but I don't think it's enough at the moment. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, this is a good move. In fact, I think that's where the queen should have gone last turn. I think he should have gone there last turn. I like that move from Henrik. He's trying to claim some light squares. I, I do appreciate that move. Rook d6, another a good response though. A good response. He wanted c5, get that bishop there, but oh, it might still happen. It might still happen, but at least the rook will be there. Okay, he took. He wants the rook to go over and then maybe a3. Yeah, I figured he was going to try this. I figured he was going to try. It doesn't work. It does not work. Takes, takes, and then, for example, king h1 and rook g1 is already good enough. This is a great move as well. Rook d8 can happen, rook, rook there and queen f1. Lots of ways, but I think Anthony's got this game, for sure. For sure. Lots of ways out. Rook d8 looks unnecessary. He's even threatening rook h4 here. G5 is about to be played. Nope. Okay, well, and then rook h4 stops this, so now he's got the game for sure. Now he's got the game for sure. Queen f7, queen h7, mate. And I think he's got that one, and he does. And he does. Anthony repping the subs here. And we're going to have a crack at the 2700 for Team Pleb. Two week, two slow, 03. Anthony, clean game. But now, this is the true test. Here we go. Do it for the subs. All right, Anthony. Let's check uh, the other perspective here, because he's playing... Uh, He's playing with elimination on the line here. Too weak, too slow. This is an FM battle. An all FM matchup. 2766 is no, I mean, that's no joke. That's no joke. A <laughs> girthy 2766. Oh, man, this guy means business. Look at those pawns. I'm pretty sure this is some type of theory. I just, I never know what's going on here. I never know what's going on. These pawns just, yeah, just fly up the board. I never know the theory here, guys. Because hang on, where does this knight go? I'm pretty sure what's supposed to happen is when white plays g4, g5, the, the knight is supposed to have the d7 square to return to. And I think whenever white plays queen takes h1, it's generally good for white, from my experience. I'm pretty sure that's the case. White has like g6 here, a few moves. So we'll, we'll have to see 
how the game goes, but I, I think there's probably an issue with this. I think there's probably an issue with this for black. So remember e5 is never a concern because we always have bishop to like b7, but right now the knight just has to go to a square it does not want to go to, which is g8. Whoa. He's trying to trying to get crafty here. He is trying to get crafty. Okay, knight takes e5. He's got bishop there. And then bishop e4. I don't really get this. I think bishop there is... Isn't it okay? I think it's okay for Anthony. Bishop e4, but we can take that. Or we can just go d5. I have a feeling Anthony's somehow surviving this. So there's queen down there, but then you can take. Yeah, I feel like Anthony's getting out of this a little bit. He's getting out of this. Uh, castles is, is a move. Yeah, castles is a move. But as I said, taking is also definitely a consideration. You can take here next. You can castle. Maybe you can leave it. Yeah, so you take this, I think. Oh, take this as knight takes e6. I'm not sure if that's a trick, though. I think it is a trick. Queen there. This knight will take, and there's no checks, amazingly, to the king. Yes, he was planning this trick. Okay, so this looks like a better move, because there's actually a threat, like a check. At least there's a check. Knight takes f f f8, though. I think you maybe have to do it. Yeah, he's going to allow the check. And the question is, can he get out of the checks? Oof. Okay, Anthony's almost down a minute here. It's a bit of a wild game. I'm not sure he can get out of these checks. Safely. It's very risky to, to play these moves because there's like d4 coming. Here, there's knight c5. Okay, he goes here, but now he's got even more checks. Queen f2. And now for sure he has to repeat. King there is simply made in one. So he's got to repeat. Anthony, on the other hand, does he have a move? I feel like he's got to repeat as well. I think what's possible is maybe knight c3. But it looks like a little too much. I guess there's queen. There's queen h1 there. You guys hit that rematch. Hit that rematch. That was a GG. Hit that rematch. Yeah, maybe knight c5. Queen f1 check, king d2, knight c5. I can agree with that, Amadon. It definitely felt like there was something for Anthony there. Definitely felt like there was something for Anthony there at the end. Just the, the way the position was looking felt a little strange. Queen f4 with check. Yeah, but it allows king e2, and then the king starts to run away. I, I think the correct play was maybe knight c5, like Amadon said, or, or some other wild move. But it definitely felt like only Anthony... Could have been good there at the end. Okay, he goes knight e5. I, I think bishop takes d6 and then knight e5 is better. But he's going to go knight f3 here, I think. Um, I played a game against Anthony. And it went like this. It was like this, knight e4, and then f6. And I think black is already very close to, to being better. Uh, this move, though? Hang on a sec. Bishop takes h7 and knight g5 is just winning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big move from Anthony, guys. Knight h5 is very wrong there. Knight e4 is the correct move. I'm pretty sure you can still play knight g5. Takes, takes. g6 is going to be played. This is definitely good for, I mean, maybe queen here and here. Also, h4, h5. Maybe bishop g6. Lots of moves to try here. Lots of moves to try. Still going to be tricky. King g7 is going to happen. And then queen there, he's going to try that. Oh, whoa, what's that? Hang on a sec. Bishop g8. So in this position, guys, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I want to say bishop g8 is the move, but after bishop g8, there's rook takes, and after check and check, the king does escape. Hang on a sec. What's going on here? How the heck is this working? Oh my goodness, the king wants to escape to f6, guys. 
The king wants to escape to f6, and if queen h6 there is bishop g7. Here? And how does he do this? Sure, we get that. But now the king wants to run away. The king wants to run away here. Taking here, the queen comes with check. You know, how is he surviving? How is he surviving? I think he's he's almost got to take here or something. Or like queen h6. Maybe some queen out. Oh, queen h6, there's maybe just king back. Yeah, king back is strong though. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't look like it should be winning. Knight f7. There's bishop takes f4 though, which is a very strong move, I think. King d7. And I don't see what comes next. I don't see what comes next. I don't see what comes next. I think black is better now. Black must be better now. The king is going to get to safety. Maybe even this move. Uh, probably you should castle so you don't get prevented from doing so. But black is definitely better here. Queen h7, I get that move. Knight e7, I think it's going to be played pretty quick. Yep. And Anthony's living on the edge because as soon as that bishop gets there, he's he's nearly getting mated. Seriously, bishop there takes queen there. There's knight e5, though. Okay, he goes back. I really think we should castle. Okay, that's a good move. Rook c1 is the threat. Anthony is definitely still pressing here. I think that bishop covering the c1 square was, was pretty important. Rook c1, maybe. Even this rook to c1 works. This is still very tricky, in my opinion. Very tricky. You want to take, and somehow you need to get a check in here, though. I don't know where the check comes from. You can't get the queen there. Knight takes is a threat. Bishop d3 takes, takes, and the queen tries to go to a3. Black is better here. anthony has got 30 seconds. I think I think Black's gonna pull this one out. There's just not enough here. There's not enough here. He's gonna get trades in. The time matters here though, because if White had more time than Black, I would say you know he's got the H pawn. There's a few tricks here. Knight takes d4. There's Queen e5. Rook takes c3. We can take back. Got to maybe run the H pawn or something. He doesn't want to trade the queens, but he almost has to. Queen takes c3 here. Ooh, he didn't take it. That was definitely a good move. Queen takes c3. This doesn't threaten anything. He's hanging on here, but 11 seconds is too much, guys. 11 seconds is too much. Queen h6, rook takes there. There's queen c1. Might try queen a4. Uh, he's trying queen a4, right? That's a good try. That's a good try. King there, queen e8. Takes rook there. He's trying. Anthony, respect. But the, the problem is that time on the clock is not good enough, I think. Rook e7 is going to be played. It's just not enough. Anthony played a pretty good game. I'm sure he would. Of course, he was winning. Of course, he Oh, rook takes f5. He's at three seconds, though. Can he do it? Three seconds. Three seconds. Queen takes e5 I would have done. Yes. Yes. Go, Anthony. Yes. 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 Let's go, buddy. He's secured a draw. Can he win this game? Holy one cow. Second. Can he win this Over. game? He's got one second. I don't think he has enough time. Oh, oh my god, oh. Anthony did it. Point two seconds. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, that was an insane game. Anthony Atanasov. For team sub. Holy cow. Holy cow. What a win. G freaking G. What a sick, sick game. How did he win that? It was like six seconds counting down. And the biggest blunder occurred on the board. From team pleb. And what can we say guys? Our optical demonstration went as intended, if you are a chess bra sub, you can see that your rating is worth plus 450 points. Plus 450. 
If you sub to the channel, that is plus 450 ELO on top of your rating. Confirmed. Confirmed.